Hi, welcome to the Corbin Labs Numeracy 5 a day solutions for the 24th of March. If you want to hint on just one particular question, feel free to pause the video now and to make a note of the video number and you can go to CorbinMavs.com and watch that video number and I'll give you a hint for one particular question if you're stuck on just one. If you're looking for the video solution solo them now, just press play. So our first question says, find the perimeter of the rectangle. So to find the perimeter of a rectangle, we just need to work out the distance around the outside of the rectangle. As you can see, we know the length of the top of the rectangle is six centimeters. That means the length of the bottom of the rectangle is six centimeters. And we know the length of the right hand side is three centimeters. That means the length the left hand side would also be equal to three centimeters. So we just need to work out what six plus three plus six plus three is. So six plus three is nine, plus six is 15, plus three is 18. So the answer would be 18 centimeters. Okay, so our next question. The next question says find the area of the rectangle. So to find the area of a rectangle, we just need to multiply the length by the width. So the length is equal to six and the width is equal to three. So we're gonna do six times three, which is equal to 18 and its area. So it's going to be centimeters squared. And it's very important in this question, we've got the units, right? So as you can see for perimeter, it's centimeters and for the area of this rectangle, it would be centimeters squared. Okay, our next question. So our next question says, write one fifth as a percentage. And I think it's very important that you learn fifths as percentages. So one fifth is equal to 20%. Two fifths would be 40%, three fifths would be equal to 60%, four fifths would be equal to 80%, and five fifths well, that's a whole, which is 100%. So one fifth is equal to 20%, because a fifth of 100 is 20, so 20%. Our next question says, right, three fifths is a percentage. Well, that's three fifths, so that's going to be three lots of 20, and that's going to be equal to 60, so that's 60%. Our next question asks us to find 25% of 60 pound. So to find 25% of a number, we divide it by four or half it and half it again. So if we do half of 60 pound, that's 30 pound. And if we half it again, that's 15 pound. So the answer would be 15 pound. I'd probably show my working out and write 60 divided by four, and that's equal to 15 by just half and half and again. Okay, so our last question. So our last question says, Tim puts seven 20 pence pieces into a piggy bank. His mum puts three of the same coin into the piggy bank. And the total value of the 10 coins is equal to two pound 90. What coins did his mum put into the piggy bank? So the first thing I would want to do in this question is work out how much money Tim had in the piggy bank before his mum put anything in. So he had seven 20 pence pieces. So we're going to do 20 multiplied by seven. And when we get do that, we get, well, seven times zero is zero and seven times two is 14. So it will be equal to one pound 40. So Tim had one pound 40 in the piggy bank with his seven 20 pence pieces. He there, his mum puts three coins in and the total then rises to £2.90. So if we take away the £1.40 from the £2.90, that'll tell us how much money his mum put in. So if we do £2.90, take away £1.40, we'll see how much money his mum put in. So if we do 290 take away 140 we get zero, take away zero is zero, nine, take away four is five, and two, take away one is one. So his mum put in £1.50. Now she put in three coins. If we divide 1.50 by three, well, I can already tell it's gonna be 50p coins because three 50p's is 1.50. But if we do 150 divided by three, well, three into one doesn't go, remainder one. Three into 15 goes five times and three into zero goes zero times. So the answer is 50p's. So his mum put in three 50p coins, three 50p coins. And that's it.